Hello everybody, my name is BDF018 and welcome back to Grand Turismo 7. Now today we're carrying on with the cafe mode. First we'll be going on to the Porsche 911 cafe. Now we're going to be racing at the Nürburgring, Spa and Lagermagior. So let's go to our first race at the Nürburgring. Here we go then, we're racing for the 930 from 1981. One lap around the Nürburgring and we have our Porsche 911. This is the Porsche Cup. 16 positions, I am in 16th, so let's see how fast we can get into the lead, but hopefully there's going to be no rain either. Get out of my way. Oh, blimey. Car's taking out straight away. Now this car is slightly done up. I've put some sport soft tyres on it. As You've got to be 650 performance points or below, and I'm going to pop the car a little bit as well. So, I didn't put racing hards, and I put sport soft on the car, as well as a couple of... Um, engine modifications and I've also put on racing brakes, discs and pads. So the car is looking A-OK -okay for this race. I reckon it shouldn't be an issue, I reckon we'll be winning this race pretty easily. Whoa. Full of Porsches, obviously this being the Porsche Cup. So we now enter 11th place of a nudge in the 930, a little bit, that's the car we're racing for. Next to the 997 from 2009. I'm not too um, familiar with the model names of Porsche 911, so I'm just going to go off of what I see on them, like another 930. Um, I forgot what this one is. I think I'm in like a 991 or something. Like that. I don't even know what number my one is. Uh, I'm in this one. Here's the interior as well. We're going to seventh place. 5.3 seconds to the next car, F. Mauer. Mauer, Mauer. 21 seconds in the leader currently. Whoop, nearly a bump on the back there, but we do pass 993 and into sixth place. Four and a half seconds to the next driver, Sugawara. That's a lovely black on that Porsche, honestly, with the little tow hook on the back. That is a very well-made Porsche, that one. Is that a, yeah, it's a 996? Is that, is that the one I've got? That Yeah, I think it's the one I'm in. No, it's not. I don't know. I don't even know what one I've got. Let's just run with what I've got. Fourth place in Ostroza. I haven't seen that name before, I don't think. The Chilean driver. We're passing. That's what I'm in, the 996. Yeah, okay, I'm in the 996. I don't know, wing on your car, fella. It's a good taste, actually. It's actually a, a decent wing. Uh, there is a 993 right there. I do like that model uh, Porsche RSCS. Uh, I've always admired the front of them ones. Five seconds into Blazon and into Caraza in first. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. That was very close. It's a nippy little thing, this Porsche, you know? It's not slow by any means, you know. I mean, it's not as it's not as fast as maybe I thought it would be, but it is nippy, especially in the corners on these tyres. It's actually um, it's quite a, quite a pleasant driving spot, soft the uh, 911. Oh, ah, that was way on the car, so that was my fault. I didn't turn enough. Great. Now we've fallen an extra half a second behind this knob. Whoa! Okay, running into some troubles in this section of the circuit. And is that rain cloud I'm seeing? Let me just check the radar. Yes, there is rain coming in from the south. Oh, blimey. Get your wet tyres on. Wet tyres here. No, I can't change my tyres. It's a one lap race. And now, over to Blazon. The same car as me, 996 and 01. I am quickly learning what model years and what model cars we have here. I don't think I don't see you approaching me. I can see you approaching me. It's only a light rain cloud. That's, that's coming right for the circuit, oh, for God's sake. Wait, no. Oh, he's just gone around me. I mean, it is raining here. But we, we've just avoided the cloud, essentially. But there's going to be a little bit of rain coming down. Nothing... Major moderate rain. He's uh, he's buggering off now. You see him? He's going away. Ah! Oh my God! Whoa! Oh! 
Oh, oh, blimey. Oh, it's all gone terribly. It's all gone terribly wrong. Oh, Christ almighty. What the hell happened there? I think I think my car took the flight for, for a quick second. Oh, now we're running into some major trouble. Oh, this is this has gone to crap really quickly. I think the car it took airborne it took flight for a moment and has landed and it just completely screwed me over. I have no idea what the hell happened there. Alright, we're on for an early chase here. I mean we've gained some good ground on the guy behind, but that's kind of blew his car up. We're only three seconds behind Carrazza in the lead now, so we are catching up very quickly here. As we now round the final corner for the giant straight. Wrestling the car now. There's no rain imminent, so we're going to get in his slipstream and try and overtake this knob as fast as we can. We are catching up. We are going quicker than him at the moment. 1.2, 1.1. So, a bit surely we go. We are getting there. Come on, Porsche. Sixth gear. He's found a sixth. Oh, down to eight tenths behind him now. We are catching up very slowly. Seven tenths. Oh. Come on, little Porsche. Uh, ah, I'm so sorry I have to do this to you. But it's been done. We have taken the lead. Oh, yes. Don't worry. Billy's got all under control. And he's taking the lead by a full second as well. Oh, damn. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. It's no. Oh, damn. By two seconds, we win at the Nürburgring. That was, that was a crazy final quarter of the race. <laughs> But hey, uh, you know what? We're going to reap the rewards with this car right here. The classical, the 931, the 930 Porsche 911 Turbo. And next is five laps around Spa. This is going to be an interesting race. There's no fuel uh, measurement in this, so it's not a race I'm going to have to pit. So... Just watch out for the radar at the bottom right there. Just keep a look out for me in case there's any rain. Get out of my way. Move. Don't you try and push me out into the grass. You asshole. No. Oh, God, please. Do not go that slow up, oh, Rouge. Please, I'll ride it on my head, whatever you want to call it. Now, I have had to limit this car a little bit in terms of power. Um, this thing was about 667 six, six, or 671 uh, PP performance points before I started this championship. So I had to buy, obviously, the fully customizable CPU or the, for the customizable computer. And I had to put it down. I think it's on like 86% at the moment, power. So th this isn't the full extent of the upgrades I've put on the car. This is 86% of it. Um, obviously, I put it down to the highest it can be within regulation. So it's about 649, 648 at the minute. Uh, performance points is recommended. No, sorry, it's 650 or below for this. So yeah, it's one or two below. If I go the closest one to 650, it's pretty much like 650.3. So we'll put one below that. Move. Move. We look at you all basic in the same cars. Oh, get out of my way. You're all in Porsche 911s. Get with the times. Fair, that grey one is gorgeous. So the orange one. Balls deep into the chicane we go now. Top five chasing currently. All of which in the usual boring cars. A Porsche 911. Oh, and again your sit stream. Suga Wabra, and I'm going to overtake you. Get out of my way, Sunny Jim and Johnny Sim. Mr. Nips. Oh, no, wait. Oh, nearly touching the Brazilian driver, Carraza, there. But we just managed to nearly get past him. He's got me on acceleration currently, but we're going to do... Oh, was it a Hacken and Schumacher, isn't it? Oh, at Spa again as well. Don't you try and touch me up. And we come out on top. Oh, a bit of a drift there. <laughs> Move it. <laughs> Watch this move. Ah, yes! Oh, you see the success rate there. My screen's gone off. No! The success rate! All is fine.
Oh, beautiful. Drifting for a bruise. I'm noticing that second place is having one of those races that I mention quite often. Uh, how many you take the lead, they speed up quite a bit. That's fine. Just increase the pace a little bit. We can do that. I'm not racing at full pace at the moment. More of a cruise. two more seconds and we're up to nine seconds in the lead now compared to our seven just now oh well, goodness me wouldn't you know it here come the gray clouds coming from the west look out by them color codes there's gonna be some rain clouds coming in very shortly i'd imagine <laughs> lucky i'm this far ahead then let's hope it's only a couple little clouds nothing substantial I've got my weather radar poked out all the way, so 90 mile radius at the minute around the circuit. We'll be into the final lap of the race. If the clouds are to be attacking us with rain, they want to come in very quickly. I don't see no rain clouds entering yet. I'm only about two minutes away from finishing the race. I think we're safe. Way. That was nice. Little kick around. <laughs> and now it's just over 10 seconds in the lead. Oh, I'm about to lose that 10 seconds though because I went very slow around that corner. Oh, here they come Hello. from the southeast. That's where I'm from, the southeast. I must admit though. This weather system in the game is making me giddy. I never thought I'd be so excited for bad weather in a game, but the way the weather system works in Gran Turismo 7 is just phenomenal. It is so impressive. It is so groundbreaking as well. I don't think people understand the levels that this game brings in terms of dynamic weather. It is so, so cool. We round the final chicane, just about to miss out on the clouds as well. They might get, or they are going to get caught up in a little bit of bad weather as their last place and that. I am not though. So we come around the final corner, 11 and a half seconds in the lead. So take the flag at Spa Franco Charm and we win the five laps. So now it's auto drama Lago Maggiore. Let me win the title. What star is it today? Three star roulette. That's probably what we're going to be getting all day then. And we also get, I must say, I didn't, I didn't mean to say title, I meant to say the cafe. We get the 964 next to the 993. Let's get the moving. Level 18. Our last race for the 993 Carrera RS is five laps around the full circuit of Magua Magior. Let's get this shit going then. All right. It's going to be a rather easy race this one, I think. Uh, I've always done pretty good at this circuit in GT Sport and in GT7, so I don't expect many issues on this race as we go on inside of the 930. Looking forward to this race. So we're going to Always a fun little circuit, and it includes one of my all-time favourite corners in racing games as well, which uh, we'll surely be getting to. I'm going to show you another one. It's one of those corners that I either nail it every time, or I, I, I suck at it every time. There's just no in-between. We creep around the top 10 now. We're in 8th place out of 16, halfway through the field. And now, one thing I find is that when a lot of people play this game, they kind of worry like, oh, I'm not going to be able to catch the leader. Oh, it's too much of a job. And I understand that worries because I'm the same sometimes. I find a way around it. Instead of focusing on your gap to the leader, focus on the gap to the next car ahead. I've got 3.9 seconds here. So push yourself for those 3.9 seconds and get ahead of the car that's just in front of you, like this orange Porsche right here. Brake later, dive more and push yourself to get ahead of him, because you know when you're past him, you're that much closer to the leader. Two seconds to go here. I'm going to push hard for these next couple of seconds. Now I'm under 17 seconds behind the leader. It all adds up. Don't worry about the leader. Just focus on the car ahead of you every single time. And then when the car ahead of you is the leader, then you give it that almighty push 
be a final goal. We enter lap two and also fourth position. We are now 8.7 seconds behind third place Blazan, followed by Sugawara and then Carazza, the Brazilian driver, the usual third place enemy in this championship. We've got this. Hello, top three. I can see you. Hello. My name's Billy. I'm 20 years old, soon to be 21 in a few months, the month of July. The sixth day to be precise. Hello. I enter third place. And now, enter second place. This is my favorite corner of the circuit. I'm one of my all time favorite racing corner this one. In this race, we are going to be alright at it. I haven't crashed, so I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> They're creeping up to second place now, Blazan, the uh, Hungarian driver. I've probably butchered most of these guys' names, but these are unique last names to me. I've never ever heard them before, so I have no idea. Oh, that was a very good corner compared to you, Sonny Jim, and I exit a lot faster as well, but he's got a little bit of pace on me there. Just give him a little love tap to let him know I'm there as we enter lap three. Just so he knows I'm here and I break late and then I've got the bit of brakes and into the lead we go. Fantastic. Oh, that's a little bit deep there. Oops, a day, is it? What's happened in a couple of races ago? What the hell's going on with this Porsche? Oh, it's put me back on the track. Don't you ever take me. Hey, you have to stay behind me. What is going on? That was a high curb. I understand that. That was like a sausage curb. Why send the car like that, though? There's something wrong with this Porsche, I swear. Let me see. There's got to be an issue with it. After that atrocious lap, now we come set a 219.2, our worst lap by 2.251 seconds, which is a real shame, I must admit. But, um, I can't really be helped because that curb really had it in for me. I'm trying to avoid that for the next couple laps. We've managed to build our gap back up to four seconds from Caraza. One and a half laps to go. One and three quarter laps to go. Staying away from you this time. Ah, don't even come near me. No. Oh. I got around that one safely. Skip it a button, Dad. Fuck is going on with this car? I only know what is going on. Like, was that a bit of counter steer? I didn't flick the the joystick that way at all. Oh, this car's possessed by a ghouly ghost. Hmm, the possessed Porsche. I think I must call this. Try and push for a faster lap. Oh, half a tenth up. I'll definitely take that. I'm slowing up the corner though. I'm going to try and push for a faster lap here. As we've got 217, 219, 220, and then a 212. I'd love to set another 212, maybe even a 211 for this lap. Um, 
We've had very bad luck the last couple of laps. Uh, what, what with that count that's doing instant and the sausage that we're using as well. What, what is up with this vehicle? It drives really nicely, but then like once every race, it just wants to snap and go somewhere. We've lost a few tenths, so we've lost nearly half a second, down to 0.95 ahead now. But what is going on with this car, man? Another six tenths on that sector we've gained. We're going for a good one here, guys and girls. Nice drift. And what are we going to set as we come home to collect our last Porsche? The 995, is it? We set a 2 minute 11.8 something, a new fastest lap for this car on this circuit. 211.877, great work. Okay, we collect 70,000 pounds, another 18 miles on the clock, and the 993, I should say, not 995. Another to our collection, nearly up to level 19. We're doing very well. Are you ready to learn? Germany's Porsche is a world renowned manufacturer of sports cars. The 911 is one of the company's most popular models. Since its debut in 1963, the Porsche 911 has developed a reputation as something of a masterpiece. It has a compact body, a powerful engine, and a rear-wheel drive layout. The engine is also mounted right at the back of the car, making it an RR, rear engine, rear-wheel drive. This basic setup has remained in place for over half a century. The Porsche company was established by the genius engineer Ferdinand Porsche. Before the founding of Porsche, Ferdinand had worked on many racing cars and aircraft engines as a young man. The first Porsche went on sale in 1949. It was a sports car known as the Porsche 356. With its compact body and rear-mounted engine, it was immediately entered into various races. In many ways, the Porsche 911 is an evolved version, is an evolved version of the original 356, an evolution which continues to this day. Fair? Happy to know. Oh my god, is that a Supra? That's our next collection, but it's not going to be today. It's going to be another short one today. We're going to be doing one or two caveats episode from now on as it takes a long time to record these. And to be honest, I'm going to stretch this series out as far as I can. And yes, we are doing live streams as well for some of the parts of the game. So stay tuned for that. But we're going to be buying a couple of cars today. I could just finish off this one as I please right now. But we're not going to. We're going to be doing it properly. So we're going to be buying today for ourselves... A Corvette ZR1. I like the sound of that. 97,000 limited stock in the store as well, so it's being bought quite a lot. And we're also going to buy one more car. It's going to be a treat car, the Renault 5 Turbo. And real quickly, we're going to be doing our three-star bullet ticket. So let's grab it and see what we get. It's going to be... Of course it's the crap one. It's going to be the crap one always. Uh-huh. Thank you very much. 5,000 credits. I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me collect the three Porsches as much as I enjoyed collecting them. If you did, might leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I appreciate you guys for watching these videos. I know the series hasn't exactly done... Uh, as well as I hope so far, but um, hopefully with these live streams coming in as well and with content coming to the game soon, uh, this will be taking off a lot more in the coming future. So with that said, I have been BDFO18. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.